Hello and welcome back to another Whiskey Review with me, the Whiskey Novice. It's good to be with you once again. Thank you for joining me. It is review number 69 and part 3 of my series, The Perfect 10, where I'm looking at some 10-year-old single malt scotch whiskies of notability. And this time, we're moving to the islands. Now, the islands, I, I've said before, which I, I tend to think of the islands as being a region all their own. I know some don't, some consider it the highlands. I just think they've got a certain individual feel about them they, they they've got a diverseness about them a diversity that that makes them for me on their own and this time we're looking at an island tucked away in there in the uh let's see in the firth of clyde that's where it is sort of uh, campbell town comes over mainland's here are stuck there in the middle in the firth of clyde uh owned by the isle of Arran distillers and this was a 10 year old, this was first, well, the, the distillery opened in 1995. And uh, this would have been around one of their, their first uh, core releases, the 10 year old. Have an under a rebranding of the last couple of years, I have to say I'm not a fan of, of the new branding. Uh, it's a little, not even the bottle i'm not a big fan of the shape of it and uh, i don't usually mention branding because branding doesn't mean an awful lot to me it's about what's inside really isn't it but in this case i just think they've aimed for something organic or something like that and it's just a little it's gone a little too far they have the little eagles here which were seen which are seen flying above the distillery but i mean really if you didn't know what that meant that just means nothing what i will say about it about the branding and what I do like when I was actually doing my tasting notes and something I hadn't discovered before was that they actually have the the braille in below the actual title here which I think is brilliant I just thought we'd throw that in I do I do appreciate it. I think that's to be applauded so uh, that that I will definitely give them so let's get into what it's actually like inside the bottle shall we 10 years old, bottled at 46%, no colour added, non-chill filtered. It's taking all the right boxes there, isn't it? So, nice, sharp, crisp nose. Slight hint of glue, which I'm getting for the first time. Didn't get it when I was doing my tasting notes. But it is a nice, sharp, crisp, honeyed note malty, orange fresh, orange, slight hint of cigarette tobacco for me, slight hint of milk chocolate, yes. Juicy fruit chewing gum. Yeah, very much so. There's definitely a, a hint of winter green and juicy fruit chewing gum. Lots of fruit, actually. Fresh pear, stewed apples. Back to that malted note. It's actually, there's a hint, I'm getting Horlicks, which is a malted drink. There is vanilla, but it's, it's vanilla, which has been used for say Madeira cake or something like that. It's, it's vanilla sponge. It's quite sweet. But there's enough of the fresh, an awful lot of that sweetness is coming from the fresh fruit. So it's, 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 it works okay. There is a thread of sharpness through it. A 
Lovely. Lovely sweet and sour delivery. Yeah, very nice. It's quite dry. Quite quickly. That honey comes through again. Tea, English tea, breakfast tea. Which yet again I think is playing into the dryness. There's a floral note. Like lavender. There's a slight hint of a cardboard through there as well. More fruit, apricot. And then, and then, there's a little, I have a bit of a, I was gonna say a love-hate relationship with this whiskey, but the swingometer, doesn't go as far as love and neither it certainly doesn't go as far as hate hate's a very strong word and I certainly I don't think I would use it for any whiskey it's still whiskey isn't it it's probably a I wouldn't even say it's a like dislike relationship I do like this whiskey up to a point works for me and that's at the end of the palate and I've had this issue with whiskies before. So this is, remember this is just my view on this. This is very well thought of, this whiskey, as far as I can tell. But for me, where it goes wrong is there's a metallic bitterness right at the end of the palate and through the finish. And it just doesn't sit very well for me. That finish is quite long. It is quite long, but that bitterness just runs the whole way through. And it, and it comes from the, the metallic thing. And it's all, it also goes very dry very quickly. Good note. Yes, it is a good note. Good palette. But that, I, I have said before of whiskies. If there's a real bitterness in the finish, it just goes downhill for me rapidly. And I find this here. Just me, isn't it? It's just for me. Splash of water, not a whole heap. It's 46%. It can take it. But I don't, I, I did from the tasting notes, it, to me it did help. Water does help. Because the alcohol is there, not 46%. I imagine it feels like as if you're talking about a good quality spirit. I do like iron whiskies. I'm quite a big fan of the port finish. They uh, they they do make good whiskey, they do make a good spirit. Just the finish in this 10 year old. That splash of water turns up the volume in those, I said about stewed apple earlier. That stewed apple now becomes a lot fresher. That juicy fruit chewing gum note that I mentioned earlier becomes quite prominent. It might not be a, a note that you're familiar with, I'm not sure, but if, if, if you are and you're trying this, think juicy fruit chewing gum and I think you'll know where I'm coming from. And there's even a even with that juicy fruit chewing gum thing, there's a minty freshness then on the nose. The, the the splash of water definitely does help to open this up. It also softens the palate. It stops that ABV just being as punchy as it was because it was noticeable around the outside of the tongue that there was quite a, a kick off the ABV. It's only 46%, it's not massively high volume, but it just, it was noticeable. It's 
Yeah, more palatable, but, but, I'm still getting that metallic, better finish. Yeah, right, at, right at the end of the palate, it's just it just leaves a bitterness, a dryness, which just for me brings it down a little. Just me. Aaron, as I say, have established themselves in quite a short space of time. 25 years the distillery's been there, which is a very short space of time for most distilleries. And uh, they do get a good following for quite a small distillery. And I would, I would recommend, I would, surely. So, that's that review. This sells for about the 35 to 45 pounds mark. Seems to be quite readily available. You'll probably not pick it up off your supermarket shelf, but there's quite a lot of it out there. So uh, it's, it's it is worth tracking down. I would recommend it. Just for me, as I say, if if, if you've had whiskies before with a slight bitterness in the finish and you weren't a fan, then probably avoid this one. But if you can get around that, you don't mind it. That's a good one. So let's uh, yes. If you like this, and you haven't already, I'm going to recommend this Highland whiskey, Dinston, twelve year old. Because why, well, why am I recommending this? Well. This was good, right? This was, this Dainston 12 for me does an awful lot of what the RN 10 year old does. There's an awful lot of what's going on, the, the zesty thing, the uh, honeyed thing very much so. You've still got all the quality, you've still got everything else that goes along with it. But it doesn't have that better finish for me. It's It, it leaves with a nice, fresh, bright, memory of a of a, a nice honeyed sharp crisp zesty fruity whiskey so if you liked the RN 10 year old and as I say you haven't already tried try the Dainston and you maybe find that what you liked about this becomes even better in this once again just me just a suggestion there you go if you liked our 10 year old, try Dean's 12 year old. <clears throat> there you go. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, so there you have it. That is uh, episode, as I say, review number 69, part three of the series called The Perfect 10. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah. There you are. That's how I would describe it. Good. All right. Yeah. Uh, Anyway, until next week, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very much to my patrons. Uh, if you wish to join that group, details are below. Till the next time, here's to your good health. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Please click and subscribe to be notified of further content.